about third world technologies and the problems with it, we will have a special guest, Michael Malai. that in third world countries, one out of every five children's deaths under the age of five is due to water-related diseases? To help find a way to create a better filtration device in these third world countries, you could donate as a little as a nickel a day. To donate, please call that number underneath the screen. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Nickel. And we're back. Starting today's show, we will have Michael and I speaking about water filtration systems. Over in third world countries, there are open water systems that are man-made creek like structures on the side of the road. Rocks, litter, and other hazardous debris find their way into these filthy trenches before it gets to, to a house when the filter, the water is insufficiently filtered. For one example, if, if there's a forest fire nearby and the ashes are most likely to get into the waterways, there's nothing you can really do. So the authorities tell people to turn on their sinks, let them run, flush the toilet, run a bath as much as they can, but it's really to no avail. There's nothing you can do with that water, it's filthy. That's why you want to use up the water so that you can actually get clean water at the end of it. Most of these open water streams have been shut down for the health and safety of the, the people, but it still remains in remote villages and in the city ghettos still exists. Now I've heard that there's different types of sinks over in third world countries. Would you like to explain how they are? Yes, here in the United States, the purpose of your kitchen and bathroom sink is the same purpose of a person in a third world country. Take it from me, I know. However, in many instances, the sink is located outside and is used for drinking water and washing dishes. But it's very unsanitary and people are gonna die. People all the time die from filthy water and filthy conditions. It's terrible. Ugh. Thanks, Mike, for coming and explaining the third world water systems. We'll be back right after this break. You're welcome. For limited time only, Whole Lamb is now on sale. Canned food is buy two, get one free. Carrots are now buy one, get one free. But don't forget your radiated foods. A kilogram or a KGY is the unit for measuring radiation in irradiated foods. In the United States, fruits and vegetables are irradiated with up to 1 KGY, which is approximately 33 million chest x-rays. Fresh meat and poultry is irradiated with up to 4.5 KGY, which is the equivalent to approximately 150 million chest x-rays.